part of women's nature is to be nurture. nurturing, mm-hmm. 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 is to be conciliatory, right? Mm-hmm. However, I think, especially, I want to hone this into our community. Mm-hmm. I think part of the reason why the story that you're telling about fixing the wrong man, I think why it's so prevalent is because I don't know if the majority of our women know how to handle a good man. Mm. I think that, unfortunately, too many women only feel useful when they are helping fix a broken man. Mm. Because the things that you can do for him are obvious. He need to drive my car. He need to hold a couple of dollars. He needs somewhere to stay. You know, those things are obvious. But a man (laughs) who's actually building something, Mm -hmm. a man who's in school to be a software engineer, a man who's got his own car, got his own apartment. I think part of the hit that our community self-esteem took is subconsciously, some of our Mm. men and women do not feel deserving of nice things. Mm. So we will sabotage it and use words like he's boring, he's exciting to excuse our behavior. When the reality is, no, it's not that he's boring and he's exciting. It's just you can readily identify what he needs. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. He needs a mom. Mm-hmm. And I know how to do that. I grew up seeing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to be a wife. I don't know how to be a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I didn't grow up seeing that. Mm-hmm. And I think if we can move the needle away from, oh, these, these niggas, they'll let you fix them and then they go their home way, to we are choosing brokenness. Mm-hmm. So similar to Jada... It is in a way, because remember during the interview, she was like, I haven't felt good in a while. It feels good to Mm -hmm. fix somebody, Mm -hmm. especially as a woman, if you're Mm -hmm. an empath and all that good stuff. It feels good. Mm -hmm. It's fulfilling. Mm -hmm. It gives you purpose in life. Mm -hmm. Right. So. I wish women understood that your power is in the type of masculinity you incentivize. Mm -hmm. And if you continue to fix men, you will continue to incentivize brokenness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say it one more time. Before, I, before, I, before I, you go on, I'm almost stuck. That was <laughs> scared. That was scared. I, I can't even say it. Because I can't even say it. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. No, incentivize brokenness. It, say it again, brother. I can't bro, remember it. That was a spirit. Bro, but I mean, I, I, I can agree with you because I can say I've thought that way before, mm-hmm. like wanting to be with somebody. And I'm not saying you choose them because they're broken. It's subconscious. It's, yeah, you don't. It's okay, subconscious. I was say, it's, it's, but it's I want to help. I just want to help because mm-hmm. I just want to help. I've been there before, mm-hmm. and it's natural for us to be that way. And and for me, the emotional detachment of it all. Because if I'm emotionally detached, I won't. I don't care. I don't care about you being broke, broken. What you got going? I don't care. I don't care. It's not I, gonna I had one mind. girl. Um, I used to talk to back in the day. She told me, because we were talking about like, uh, you know, her college uh, life or whatever the case may be. And she told me, I don't know how it came up. She was like, I never actually dated men who went to the same school as me. I always dated the locals. Mm -hmm. And I was like, huh, why? Can you explain that? She was like, well, you know, with the men who went to school with me, let's say I'm going to take a test, Mm -hmm. right? And I'd be like, hey, babe, I'm going to take a test. He'd probably be like, yeah, babe, I got a test at two o'clock. You want to study together or whatever the case may be. But with the drug dealer down the street, my little lawyer, my little Michelle Obama. The validation. The validation is out of this world. So Mm -hmm. the the, the ego stroke of he Mm -hmm. needs me. Mm -hmm. I am the best thing that happened to him Mm -hmm. is massive. Whereas with the other dude, if it doesn't work, Maybe it was my fault. Mm -hmm. And most of our ego cannot handle that. So we will go where we're the big fish in a small pond. And I think that's why we keep incentivizing certain types of men. Mm -hmm. We need to feel needed. Yeah. And like what we're doing has value in it. But that allows allows, uh, us to be belittled too. Yeah. And and, and least respected. Because if you do help a man, you build a man, you have that to hold over him. But yeah. that, that's what Who it goes. That? But it goes <laughs> back to saying, what? it yeah. goes back to you don't feel like you deserve better. Yeah. Mm. And and unfortunately, and this is what breaks my heart, especially in our community. Like, there are a lot of gorgeous women, intelligent mm-hmm. women. Mm-hmm. But if you actually like search their hearts, they you do not see anything. themselves like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They Gosh. do not see themselves mm-hmm. like that. And you'll see 
the men they end up with and be like, how the hell is, yeah. is that? But even? that's what she thinks she deserves. Right. Mm-hmm. She might be beautiful. She might be intelligent, mm-hmm. but that's what she thinks she's deserved because mm-hmm. that's who she sees on the inside. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I think it goes back to with our culture, we're just now getting to a place where therapy is okay. Mm-hmm. Healing is okay. Mm-hmm. So you have all of these broken men and women running around seeking validation for that little girl or that little right. boy. Mm-hmm. So now you're finding value in, I, I add value to him and I'm his Michelle Obama. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now I feel validated. Whereas if, like myself, just found out at 39, I needed to heal mm-hmm. and go on a healing journey. Now a healed person has a different perspective mm-hmm. than a broken mm-hmm. person. Right. Sure. So now that I'm healed, I'm not going to put up with certain things because exactly. I can see brokenness a mile away. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to put you down and you're not beneath me. Mm-hmm. But as somebody that has walked in healing and is walking in healing mm-hmm. and pursuing healing, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. I'm not going to just take anything. Right. Because mm-hmm. I, I now know who I am and I now know what I deserve. Save but it. I think it's a lot of broken men and women on mm-hmm. both ends. Mm-hmm. So now you got two broken people trying to come together. Right. Which makes two broken people. Two halves don't make a whole. Right. It mm-hmm. makes two halves. Right. Would you say that's so just you collectively home, with us or you think that's a universal thing? Our culture? Yeah. I'll say it's universal, but it's bigger with us because therapy okay. was so cliche. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Ain't mm-hmm. nothing wrong with you. Go pray. Yeah. Right. That's true. That's you're, true. Not, you're, yeah. not, right. you're not depressed. Right. You got molested, right. but it was swept under the rug. Right. So this trauma was never dealt with. Right. So mm-hmm. now I'm an adult trying to deal with trauma from mm-hmm. when I was five mm-hmm. and got molested. Mm-hmm. And I feel like my body is just, I just give it away and I'm not mm-hmm. worthy of anything. Mm-hmm. All the way from that five year old little girl or little boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. now there's un- that unhealed trauma that is just mm-hmm. into adults. So you got a lot of adults walk around just yeah. bumping into things broken. Yeah. Right. And finding, trying to seek validation in building a man. We which makes the or building a woman because I have heard mm-hmm. men say I got with her because I felt like I can build her up mm-hmm. and she mm-hmm. won't cheat because mm-hmm. she ain't you know mm-hmm. she's not a dime but she's mm-hmm. you know she's not a penny either so mm-hmm. I'm gonna get with her because it's easier because yeah. she can look up to me she's, she's safe woman. and that mm-hmm. I was scratching my head like huh mm-hmm. and then he said well when I built her up then she started acting like she was Beyonce and she cheated right. well because that still goes back to she didn't know who she was. Yeah. It has nothing to do mm-hmm. with her looks. It has yeah. everything to do with what's inside. Yeah. She right. still got that big game. Yeah, she still yeah. Yeah. This, this is my issue with therapy, though, because I genuinely feel like the African diaspora, we all need psychotherapy. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. we, whether Africa, because I'm African, I'm Nigerian, yeah. mm-hmm. right? So colonialism took a toll on us. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, um, yes. Slavery took a toll on y'all. Yes. Um, so I think there's a lot of passed down bullshit on, yeah, both, sure. on both sides. Sure. Definitely. What I will say though, I think unfortunately in our community, we are starting to celebrate what I call pop therapy. Cause mm-hmm. baby, I hate people give me therapy speak. It is, it is one thing to go into therapy and truly unpack your traumas and work on becoming mm-hmm. a better version of you mm-hmm. and actually living it out. Mm-hmm. But it's another thing to go to two sessions and then all of a sudden you're, you're speaking like you're a therapist yeah. and you're your talking expert. about how, how everybody's wronged mm-hmm. you, but you're still not taking accountability. accountability. Right. You're, it's, still, it's you're creating, still not living out what you're doing. It's so creating you're narcissism. Thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. 100% it's, and, and narcissism. Unfortunately, I will put that on women. Mm-hmm. I, will oh. say, I will say that <sighs> I'm seeing that. No, you're good. I'm seeing that more so with women because men are not super therapized. What I'm seeing happen is a lot of women are, a lot of black women are getting therapy, but they're not doing the work. They're just getting therapy to say, I've got therapy. So mm-hmm. now I have permission to talk down to you, mm-hmm. non therapized person. Oh. You think they're going they're to not therapy doing the to win, but they're No, not they're going having... to therapy to get their MD. To get the badge. Oh, yeah. right? to, 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 to get, get the, something the badge to of make honor it seem or, like, yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm well, working on me. I'm healed because right I went to therapy. See, so it's, it's pop therapy. And, and it, it, a lot of it, hmm. when you start investigating it, it does lead to that narcissism that I'm talking about, that talking down, looking. You know, mm-hmm. looking down yeah. your nose, especially at men, mm-hmm. because the idea is oh. because I am more emotionally expressive, mm-hmm. I am more emotionally intelligent. Mm-hmm. And the opposite is the case. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. The case. Yeah, A lot of women definitely. are emotionally expressive. But not I call them emotional either, exhibitionists. They yep. cry. Mm-hmm. They laugh. They be sad. Mm-hmm. They might even be able to identify I'm, I'm laughing, I'm sad, whatever the case may be. But as far as regulating it, mm-hmm. as far as accurately identifying it and being like, oh, I'm not actually mad, I'm scared. Mm-hmm. They don't have that, that mm-hmm. ability. And where nobody's actually calling this out, we're just saying, oh, she's therapized and Jamal ain't. So she's a better person than Jamal. 